In this video, we are going to continue on part 2 of our SPM 2018 question. Let's go. What is up guys? Welcome back to the video. If you watched the previous video, we have already discussed the first part of our SPM 2018 science paper 1 questions. For today, we are going to continue on form 5 part which starts from question 27 all the way to 50. So while I discuss the questions, we will also do some form 5 revisions and this acts sort of like a quick revision before your SPM. Let's go! Question 27, the diagram shows two examples of microorganisms. Okay, as you can see here, this for sure you know it's a mucor that you found on your bread. This is the most important thing that you for sure need to recognize. This would be your yeast. Alright, before I move on, yeast is the single most important microorganism that you must remember for your SPM because they are very useful in our industry in making bread and of course alcohol. Yeast and mucor belongs to our fungi. Question 28. Diagram 14 shows four petri dishes, P, Q, R, and S, kept in the dark for three days at different temperature. Kindly notice different temperature. This would be our MV, manipulated variable. Therefore, as you can see here, you have 10 degrees Celsius, 20, 37, and 45. 37 being the optimum temperature, the temperature that most microorganisms will thrive at. They love being at 37, which shows the highest number of bacteria colony. Obviously, the answer would be R. Question 29, which disease is spread through contaminated food? For sure, the answer would be A. Cholera is the disease spread by rats. This is also known as food poisoning. Syphilis and gonorrhea, they are STDs, or we call it sexually transmitted disease. They are transmitted via sexual contact. Malaria, this is spread by mosquito. They are a lot like dengue, but they are caused by protozoa. Question 30. Which of the following plants is used to treat itchiness and scabies on skin? When you need to treat skin diseases, most likely we would use aloe vera. Not only they will soothe the skin, they will also kill bacteria or microorganisms. Garlic is mostly for high blood pressure. Ginger is mostly for fever. Lime is mostly for flu and so on because it has a lot of vitamin C. Question 31. Diagram 15 shows a cross section of an artery of a man. So when you have your artery full of cholesterol, this is what we call atherosclerosis, which is the narrowing of the artery. Of course, this will usually happen together with arteriosclerosis. That would be the hardening of your arteries. What is the disease that the man will suffer? Stroke or heart attack? Quashokor is the African disease with a huge stomach. Anemia is when you have lack of red blood cell. Scurvy is when you have bleeding gum due to the lack of vitamin C. Question 32. Diagram 16 shows two plants X and Y. X is a healthy plant or Y is an unhealthy plant. As you can see, Y is very very short. Quick revision, plants has three macronutrients. Macro means they need it in huge amount. What are the three? The three would be known as N, P, K. N being nitrogen, P being phosphorus, K being potassium. Why is it in K? Because K stands for gallium, which is Latin or if you're studying it, VM. What is the nutrient deficiency experienced by plant? Why? If a plant is being very short or if they have yellow leaves, this is for sure the lack of nitrogen. Quick revision, if a plant lacks phosphorus, they would have purplish leaves. Potassium, the leaves would have brown spots. How about calcium? We don't need to care about calcium because that is not very common in exam. The nutrients for plants, it is not very common in exam. I wouldn't recommend you spending too much time in this because usually, as you can see here, they only ask in objective questions. Moving on, question 33. Diagram 17 shows an incomplete nitrogen cycle. When you have plants eaten by animals, when animals or plants, they die, 
they become ammonium. And of course, this ammonium will be converted into nitrate before they are being taken up by plants again. So what is process Q? When animals die, what do they go through? They will go through decomposition. This is not even nitrogen cycle. Nitrification is this here when you're changing ammonium into nitrate. So what is denitrification and nitrogen fixation? They work in opposite way. You convert some of the nitrate back into the 78% in your atmosphere. That would be your denitrification. And when you convert this 78% of nitrogen into the soil become nitrate, this is what we call nitrogen fixation. I like to call this the big circle and this one the small circle. Moving on, question 34 shows a pyramid of numbers. As you can see here, you have the producers here, your primary consumer here, secondary consumer and tertiary consumer. The numbers will decrease as they go up. As they get stronger, they will reduce in number. This is the balance of nature. Which of the following is the primary consumer? As I've mentioned just now, the primary consumer would be your grasshopper. Question 35. The information shows the gases which cause environmental pollution. When you see sulfur and nitrogen, this is for sure your acidic gases. When you have acidic gases dissolving in the environment, for sure you would have acid rain. So what is eutrophication? Eutrophication is the algae bloom, if you remember what is this. When you flush too much of fertilizer into ponds or rivers, when algae start growing on the surface, it causes the usage of oxygen in the water, causes the death of aquatic animals. Global warming, this is actually caused by CO2, which we call it greenhouse gases. Depletion of ozone layer is usually caused by your CFC. They used to use it in air conditioners, aerosol spray cans. Question 36 shows the condition of a natural forest. As you can see here, this is a swamp area. Which of the following is the best method to maintain the condition of the forest? There's nothing much you can do here besides preservation and conservation. Something like having a forest reserve or your hutan sipan. Biological control, this is mostly for farms. Renewing sources of energy, this would mostly be related to your fossil fuel. Control the usage of pesticide, again, this is related to your biological control, which is in your farm. Question 37. The following information shows the characteristic of substance R consists of carbon and hydrogen only, originated from dead animals and plants. This is what we call hydrocarbon. Why is it hydrocarbon? Because it has hydrogen and carbon, as the name says. So what is R? R is obviously your petrol. Petrol is a hydrocarbon. Graphite and diamond, they are pure carbon. Nothing to do with this. Milk is just an organic substance. Question 38. The following word equation shows a chemical reaction. Alcohol adding Y, you get ester. What is ester? Ester is your perfume. Whenever you have strawberry or pineapple flavoring in your food, do you think they put the real thing in? Most likely not. They are putting ester, which is the human-made perfume. So how do you get perfume? You add alcohol and something what we call organic acid. So the answer here will be C. Salt is used in your saponification, the making of soap. Alkaline is not even related here, it's also related to soap. Inorganic acid, you don't even use this. <laughs> Moving on. Question 39. Which of the following is the correct match between the molecular structure and its example? As you can see here, we have PVC and balloon. Balloon is made from rubber. Rubber is a polymer. We have two polymers here. So how do polymers look like? They look like strands. This here is a monomer. Quick revision, what is a polymer? When you have a group of monomer linking together, you get a polymer chain. So glucose here is a monomer. You should draw glucose like this. Tire would be the correct here because as you can see, you have polymer chains here. And what is this S here? This is what we call the disulfide linkage. To add sulfur into your rubber, this is known as vulcanization. So definitely the answer is D. Quick revision, what is the function of vulcanization? Is to make your rubber stronger, has higher melting point, and is more resistant to corrosion. 
Question 40, this is your chapter 5 which most girls are very afraid of because there's a lot of calculation here but don't be afraid because as you can see they give your formula here. A student takes 0.5 hours to cycle from his house to the town. If his average speed is 15 km per hour, what is the distance from his house to the town? Before you start converting them into meter per second, I know meter per second is the SR unit, but take a look at the answer. The answer here shows you km, and since you have hour and kilometer per hour here, you don't need to do any conversion here. You are taking science, not physics. Usually, only in physics, they will ask you to convert science. Usually, you don't have to. So, how do you do this? This is really simple. As you see the formula here, how do you get the distance? You just put your speed here, that will be 15, and your time here, that will be 0 0.5. Moving the 0 0.5 up, that will be 15 times 0 0.5 you should get 7.5. Usually objective calculation questions in science would be this simple. If you are doing too many steps, most likely you are wrong. Question 41. Diagram 20 shows a woman is drawing her umbrella. When you're drawing your umbrella like this, what concept you are using? You are suddenly changing direction so that the water can fly off your umbrella. This is known as inertia. Inertia is the concept that says thing at rest, stay at rest. Moving thing, stay moving. For example, if you are moving in a bus, when the bus stops, you want to keep moving, so you will jerk forward. Conversely, if the bus is not moving, suddenly when the bus accelerates, you want to remain in the original position, so you will jerk to the back. Pressure is related to surface, not in this case. Momentum is very close to inertia, but momentum is mostly for moving object. You have a car moving forward, you have momentum. Acceleration, this is not even related here. Moving on, question 42. There, we have our momentum question. Shows the momentum of a moving object. So what is the mass of the object? As you can see here, they give you the formula here again. So don't you worry about memorizing the formulas. As you can see here, they have your momentum equals to mass times velocity. Your momentum here is 60. Velocity is 5. Mass, we don't know. When you move a times into the other side, you get divide. So you have 60 divided by 5. You should get 12. Question 43. Diagram 22 shows a vehicle in the air. So you have a plane here. What is the force that caused the vehicle to fly forward? Take note, they're asking for forward, not upward. Forward force is what we know as thrust. Lift is going up. Drag is going back. Weight is going down. Question 44. Diagram 23 shows a hydraulic brake of a car. This is what we know as a Pascal principle. So you have a small piston here, you have a huge piston here. According to the formula, we have F1A1 equals to F2A2. You just have to sub your values in. As you can see here, force X is not given, so F1 is not given. A1 is 5, as mentioned here, that would be the small surface. F2 would be your 1000. A2 will be the huge, the large surface, that would be 100. Therefore, moving this 5 over here, this you can just cut. 10 times 5, you should get 50 for your F1. You might have a question, sir, can I calculate pressure for the first one and then transfer the pressure here? Yes, of course, but that will be a two-step calculation. Why not just use this? Question 45. Which method is the most suitable to be used to maintain the freshness of fresh milk? Very good question. To maintain something fresh, you cannot do too much of heating to the food because heating spoils the nutrient content in the food. So what is the most suitable method here? This is what we know as pasteurization. Pasteurization is the heating of your milk to around 60 to 70 degrees Celsius for around 15 to 30 seconds and then quickly cooling it down to 4 degrees Celsius. It doesn't kill all bacteria but it does remain the freshness in the milk. This process also makes the milk fresh for a few days. It makes the bacteria inactive for a few days, which is good enough for your consumption. Do we need to use canning for milk? Yes, you can, but you would denature all the nutrients and vitamins inside. 
that wouldn't be more very suitable. E-radiation, do you need to zap your milk? I wouldn't do that. Do you need to do vacuum packaging? This is not a powder. If it is a milk powder, yes, you can do that. Question 46, study the information below. More than 100 farmers at Kampung Farid suffered loss when 200 hectares of paddy fields were attacked by pests. What action should be taken by agricultural departments to solve this problem? Supply pesticide for the farmer, maybe. Supply paddy seeds to the farmers, they just had all their paddies killed off. Why would you give seeds to them? So this would be wrong. Pay compensation to the farmers, paying them money isn't solving the problem, so definitely not. Provide modern machinery to the farmers, there is nothing to harvest, why would you give them machine? So the answer very clearly, that would be an A. Moving on, question 47. The following information shows the use of a thermal plastic. So what is a thermal plastic? Thermal plastic is something that can be remolded again and again. That will be the soft plastic. The hard plastic will be thermal set. That you cannot remove. Something like your plastic bowl and plates at home. Something like your TV set. Something like your PS5 if you have one. The casing of the PS5 is made from melamine which is a thermal set. So what is the thermal plastic here? Cushion cover, compact disc rack, water pipe. I'm sure you know water pipe is made from PVC. You can also use PVC to make the fake leather. We use this as cushion cover. So that would be our PVC. Polyethene is used in our plastic bottle. This is the cheapest plastic you have. Polystyrene, I'm sure you know what is this. We use this to tap our food last time. It's already banned because it's so hard to recycle. And of course, polymethyl methacrylate. This is what we know as Prospect. You know the clear plastic you found on your Galois sign? Okay, that will be it. Question 48. What is the effect of throwing plastic waste into a river? Does it cause air pollution? No, you're not burning it. Damage immune system, you're not eating it. Release poisonous gas, this is related to A, so of course this is wrong. Block the drainage system, yes, this is the most direct answer. Next, question 49, this is a radio receiver system. You have this in your phone, you receive, let's say your friend is calling you, you have your signal coming from the tower, your aerial, which is the antenna, you receive. You have your tuner here and then you have your demodulator here. What is the function of the demodulator? This is to separate the sound signal out so that you can listen to what your friend is trying to say. Amplifier, of course, is to amplify the sound. Of course, you have a loudspeaker which gives you the sound. So what is the question? What is the function of the demodulator? We just said it. This is the amplifier. Detect modulated radio wave, that will be your aerial. Select a frequency modulated radio waves, that would be your tuner. Separate modulated radio waves and audio signal, this would be the answer. Last but not least, question 50, you have a satellite here, you have the Earth satellite station. What is R here? If you are using this for telecommunication, most likely we are using radio wave, but this is going up to the atmosphere. So radio wave is not strong enough. We use something lower than radio wave, which we are going to use microwave. Quick revision, R being radio wave, M being microwave, I being infrared, V being visible light, which is the seven colors, U being ultraviolet, the thing you get from the sun that causes you cancer, X being x-ray, G being gamma ray. All right, so that's it for our video today. I hope this lesson is helpful. Is this a hard paper? I would say the Form 4 part is harder. The Form 5 part is actually quite straightforward. So pray hard that your SPM this year will be as easy as this. So if you like this video, remember to like this video, share, subscribe if you would like to subscribe for my live lesson kindly go to ttceducation.org links in the description below if you have any requests or any revision you would like me to talk about kindly let me know in the comments down below and i will see you guys in the next video take care and ciao